I gotta get out of this place. That's Dad's old restaurant. What about Daddy's old restaurant? Oh, nothing. I just saw that they're hiring. Ooh, are you going to take the job? No, sorry. Why not? Because Dad works there, Elizabeth. And Dad hates me, especially after what I did to Evan. But that was an accident. You didn't mean to kill him? Yeah, I know, but... Just because I didn't mean to doesn't mean it's okay. What if you change your name? What? What if you change your name to something else? That way, you won't be known as Michael Afton. You'll be known as... Let me think... Mike Schmidt! I don't know, Elizabeth. Come on, Michael, please. We need the money, and I don't want to get kicked out. All right, let me call them and see if they're still hiring. Hello, this is Dave Miller of Fazbear Entertainment speaking. Uh, hi, uh, I heard you guys were hiring. I was wondering if I could apply for the job. Yes, you're applying for the security guard, right? Yeah. Okay, what is your name? Uh, Mike Schmidt. Okay, Mike, do you mind working the night shift? Uh, yeah, that would be fine. Uh, is it alright if I bring my little sister to work with me? It's just, I don't really have anyone that can watch her. Y yes of course, that would be fine. Well, congratulations, you've got the job. Can you start tomorrow night? Uh, yeah, I can start tomorrow night. Okay, great. Your shift starts at 12 a.m. All right, great. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Elizabeth, I did it. I got the job. That's great. And you're coming with me. What? All right, so let me get this straight. You want us to go to a kid's pizzeria and vandalize the place? Yes, that place needs to be shut down. And why do you want us to do this? I mean, that's a little weird, don't you think? Yeah, do you not like seeing kids happy or something? Dude, who cares? He's paying us $2,000. The whole reason I want this place shut down is because it is not safe for children. Steve, I don't want to do it. Come on, Claire, we have to do it. We all really need this money. All right, we'll do it. Great. All right, remember, I will work and you will sleep, okay? I know. I'm serious. I know. All right, let's go. All right, you can sleep in here. But I want to stay with you. I know, but I've got to do my work in peace. So just stay in here. You'll be fine. Freddy doesn't bite. Okay. Alright, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Bye. Hello? Hello, hello? Hi, um, 
I wanted to record a message for you to help you get through your first night. Um, you just got to keep your eyes on the monitors. It's a pretty simple job, really. And, oh, yeah, see that animatronic Foxy in the back? He's out of service. Just thought I should let you know that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Bye. What the? Michael, what's happening? Uh, I don't know. Michael, I don't want to stay in this place. Look, I know, Elizabeth, but you have to. There's no one that can watch you, and I can't hire a babysitter. Why not? Because, Elizabeth, you know money's tight right now. That's the whole reason I got this trash job in the first place. But I can't sleep with all that loud music and those robots moving. Look, it's probably just a technical glitch or something. Now let me go see if I can fix it. First night on the job and it already sucks. <coughs> what? I never even got a chance to turn off the power. Alright, the music's off. You can go back to bed now. Okay. <gasps> Michael? Michael! <laughs> Elizabeth, what is it now? <gasps> Elizabeth, are you okay? Okay, that's the end of my shift. Pack your things, and let's get out of here. Hey, Evan. Go away, Michael. Aw, what's wrong? Is somebody not having a good birthday? I just don't know why we had to come here for my birthday. Is somebody scared of Fredbear? Well, sometimes you just gotta face your fears. No! No! Michael, put me down! Put me down! What's that? Oh, you wanna give Fredbear a big kiss? Alright, is everyone ready? Yep. Dude, why have you got a gun? You told us to bring weapons. Yeah, as in like an axe or something that you can smash the place around with. Not a gun. Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's just get this over with. Alright, don't destroy the place. Just mess a couple of things up. Where did those robot things go? This is not worth two thousand dollars. I gotta get out of this place. Oh, what's happening?
Hello, this is Dave Miller of Fazbear Entertainment speaking. Yeah, uh, hi Dave, it's me, Mike. Mike, hello, how was your first night? Uh, not too good, honestly, that's actually what I'm calling about. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, why not? Look, I know this sounds crazy and all, but the animatronics started moving and tried attacking me and my sister. <laughs> What are you talking about? They weren't even activated. That isn't possible. Even if they were activated, they wouldn't try to attack you. Look, as I said, I know it sounds crazy, but I swear I'm not lying. Freddy's eyes also went completely soulless. It was as if they're possessed or something. Sorry, say that again? Yeah, Freddy's eyes went completely soulless. No, the last part. Uh, it was almost as if they were possessed. Really? Yeah, but it was as if they were possessed. I'm not saying that they are or anything. Okay, well, thank you for calling. Yeah, no problem, but I also want to let you know that I quit. What? Why? It's just I don't want to be attacked by the animatronics. What if I pay you double? Uh, I don't know. Please, Mike. Yeah, alright. Thank you. No problem. Bye bye Alright, you can stay in here with me tonight. I don't get why we came back here. Do you want to get evicted? No. Exactly. Now go to sleep. Do you seriously expect me to sleep here? Yeah, I'm not going to sleep. Alright, your choice, I guess. Hello? Hello, hello? Um, hi, uh, I wanted to record another message for you. Um, wow, night two. Congratulations, I guess. Um, I heard you were thinking of quitting. Um, well, let me tell you, this place is the safest place on Earth. You have nothing to be worried about. Um, also, um, my boss, Dave, uh, you've probably talked to him on a phone call before. He's coming over tonight, uh, to just make sure everything is going okay. So, uh, yeah, bye. Oh, no. What is it? Ugh, Bonnie's left the stage. Uh, I want to go home. I know. <sighs> okay, that's uh probably Dave. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Who was that yellow Freddy? Uh, I don't know. Look, you stay here and I'm going to go answer the door. Okay. Hello, Mike. It's great to finally meet you. Yeah, hey, Dave... Michael? Dad? Why did you change your name to Dave Miller? Why did you change your name to Mike Schmidt? I thought if you knew I wanted to work here, you wouldn't hire me. Oh, although I do hate you, I still would have hired you. I mean, we barely have any staff. Dad... You can stop with the fake accent. I know it's you. Yes, right, sorry. Now tell me why you're using a fake name. It doesn't matter. Now let me see these possessed animatronics. So, do you really think they're possessed? Possibly. Why? I don't know. They just always seem so off, especially towards me. Yeah, well, there's definitely something going on with them. Just before you showed up, a yellow version of Freddy appeared and everything started glitching. Wait, do you mean, like, Fredbear? 
No, it was more like just a yellow version of Freddy. Did it have a black hat and black bow tie? Y yeah, how did you... how did you know that? It was a spare Fredbear suit, but every day when I used to show up here for work, I swear I kept seeing it, staring at me soullessly. Wait, did it have, like, completely blank black eyes? Y yes yes it did. Well, it looks like something paranormal is definitely going on here. Well, that's the end of my shift. I should probably get going now. Yes, me too. Tragedy tonight at the local kids' pizzeria, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where five children attending a birthday party were found dead in the back room. Witnesses say that they saw someone dressed in a yellow rabbit costume luring the children into the back. As of now, no one knows who has committed these awful murders. The owner of the pizzeria, Henry Emily, has refused to comment at this time. Hello? 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 Um, hi. Um, this is unfortunately going to be my last message to you because, um, unfortunately the boss has decided to shut this place down. So, tonight is going to be your last night on the job, which means that you are going to be sadly laid off. Um, the boss is going to be coming over tomorrow night to take apart the animatronics. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh... Sorry to break the news to you, buddy, uh, but, uh, yeah, bye. Now I'm gonna have to look for another job. At least now we don't have to deal with the animatronics trying to kill us. Yeah, you're right. And for that, we apologize. <sighs> Relax, I'm not here to kill you. Although, I admit, at first, I was. We all were. Then what do you want? To tell you the truth. You see, at first we thought you were your father. Okay, and why would you try to kill me just because you thought I was my dad? Because your father murdered us. What? Let me show you. When you killed your brother, your father went down a very dark path. Evan! At first he blamed his co-worker, Henry Emily, as it was his idea to open Fredbear's family diner. So, as revenge, he killed Henry's daughter, Charlotte. But then an animatronic, created by Henry to protect Charlotte, somehow fused with Charlotte's soul. At first, he only intended on killing Charlotte, but after killing Charlotte, he discovered something called Remnant, which, if one has enough of, they can become immortal. But in order for your father to get more Remnant, he'd have to kill a few more children. Your father then started wearing his old Spring Bonnie costume again, and started luring children to the back so that he could kill you. Me and my friends were unfortunately some of his victims. But then later that night, Charlotte appeared. She then zapped our souls into the animatronics, giving us new life. I can't believe this. This is all my fault. If I hadn't have killed Evan, none of this would have ever happened. It's not your fault. Although what you did was terrible, it was your father's choice to go down this dark path. I mean, I guess, but still. 
What was your name before my dad? You know, Cassidy. Cassidy. That's a nice name. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. What? How is it already 6 a.m.? We just got here. Time tends to pass faster with my illusions. Your father will be coming over tomorrow night to attempt to take the others apart. Come over tomorrow night to see what we have planned for him. Are you sure? The guy on the phone told me that tonight was my last night. I am sure. If you are as angry as we are with your father, you will love to see him suffer. All right, we'll come. Hello there. I'm William Afton, co-owner of Fredbear's Family Diner. And today I'm going to be showing you how to safely wear a springlock suit. Firstly, as these suits can also be used to walk around on their own like robots, you must use this controller to push the endoskeleton back in order to make space for you to get into the suit. Secondly, carefully put on the suit. Lastly, it is important to note that the suit cannot get near water and you cannot move about too much or else this could result in a fatal and brutal death. And now you're ready to go and entertain the kids. Michael, are you sure it was a good idea to come back here? I'm sure we'll be fine. Plus, now that we're friends with the animatronics, they can protect us. <laughs> you made a big mistake coming here. <laughs> Michael! Who are you? Drop the act. I know who you are. I know you killed all those kids. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what you're, you're talking about. about. I've, I've never, never seen, seen you before in my life. I know it's you, Dad. So, you figured it out. How could you kill all those kids? When I found out that I could become immortal, I was willing to do anything for it, even if it meant I would have to kill a few kids. Why do you want to live forever? Everyone you love, everyone you care about, they'll all die, but you'll still be here. Alive forever. I stopped loving and caring for people a long time ago, including you. Oh! <gasps> <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I think the animatronics are gonna take care of Dad. Let's get out of here. Look at the nasty things that you have become. Look at how small you are. You are wretched, rotten little beasts. I made you! I know that you think that you have the upper hand, Mr. Afton, but I can assure you, you will pay for what you have done to us. You don't really think that I'm scared of you, do you? You should be. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is music to my ears.
How can I resist a promise such as this? I always come back.